Aries, check your Mars and where do you have Aries in your astrological chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Okay. Song playing for you is Bruno Mars featuring Cardi B, Finesse, the remix. We are here driven in Finesse. Are you done with a Libra? Or maybe you have Libra in your chart. You like somebody, you like the way they move, you like the way they dress. Taurus, I have. You may be married. Some of you are married or you work in a constitution, institution, foundation, church, service. You may be um, wanting commitment, that's for some of you. You may also be connecting to someone in that, some type of connection relationship that gently teaches you to love yourself. You may be working in philosophy, psychology, spirituality, construction, mining, or agriculture, or dealing with someone who does. You may be also looking at your finances. Could be dealing with a I'll show you in a second. Oh yeah. So you're no longer confused. You're no longer confused about something. Aries. Yeah. Raising consciousness. You know. You, you're no longer confused about something. I like this. I like this. Your your wings are on fire. Wings are on fire. Oh, I love this. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Okay. You, you're secretly in love with somebody. The moon is out here. Cancer Pisces, you're secretly in love with somebody. Secretly thinking of somebody. Or you have, yeah. You think the whole wide world about this person. Or you see them on the world wide web. Or they're from another, like, ethnicity. Another place in the world. Such an interesting reading. Hmm. Okay. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, and Moon in Virgo. Okay. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is Queen Midas. Everything this woman touches turns to gold. This could be a business owner. This could be someone who works in the military, the government, the police force, law enforcement. I just heard FBI, okay? Okay. You could be somebody who's a healer or a doctor, or you work in philosophy, psychology, spirituality, money, health, or you're dealing with someone who does with the Queen of Pentacles. Everything you touch literally turns to gold. Whoever this person is, okay? That represents that in your life. With the purple, there's a lot of business ideas and practicality. If this is a relationship, your partner is very faithful to you, okay? Very faithful, very nurturing, very grounded. It's not an unpredictable relationship. You're also very business savvy. You may own, if you own some type of spiritual business, it's very well known in your community and you make very good money off of what you do. You're a very good businesswoman. Very nurturing. Maybe you work in a garden. You have the high priestess, which is the tarot card reader, the psychic, the medium, okay? Um, you may be an endocrinologist. You work with like endocrine glands and hormones or you work with emotions. You help people work with emotions. This is the hidden knowledge and the intuition. What you're facing is deeply seated um, commitment issues. I feel like Aries, some of you have always liked uh, relationships and commitments that, you know, they start off emotional and they don't ground into the physical reality. 
or they start off very physical and then they become emotional due to one's own commitment issues. It's also like an addictive love. You have an addictive love for somebody, but you keep it hidden. And this is because of the lack of love for self. This is actually realizing with the Seven of Cups. Maybe you've been fantasizing, Venus and Scorpio, fantasizing about somebody. You're really, you've been like quiet, quietly watching someone in secret. The song that's playing for you is Aaliyah, Miss You. You miss somebody? You miss somebody. It's a secret. It's a secret love. It's somebody, it's like a secret love. Some of you are detectives or sex workers, or you may even work as like a bartender. I'm seeing some of you. The book, the knowledge. There is some type of knowledge. You see the book there? There's some type of knowledge you will come into personally, okay? And you may also be seeing psychics or tarot card readers or even watching this video as you, you know, encountering one. I feel like you have, if you are online dating or you're looking at options and stuff like that, this can be in career, you feel like you don't have any options in career or you don't feel like you have the potential to go after the things that maybe you want to do in your career. If you're single, whether you're online dating or you're looking at other people or whatever, you don't like your options. You're not satisfied. Somehow you keep looking at this person with the moon, okay? She has one foot up and one foot on the grass. Huh. It's like one foot in practicality and the other foot in mystery. But there is no confusion. You're also not confused on who you want. That's your consciousness raising. This is also like you, there's two people here who know how to have a relationship. They believe in them and they share the same religious beliefs. You may also um, do the same thing. Maybe you both teach or something like that. You both do the same thing for work. Like it would be, it would be similar. It would be similar because of the higher font. Something would be similar. But with the world, this is also walking through the portal of a new dimension I just heard. Fixed energy, new change, new birth. This could be a child being born, a new you. One that is divinely guided by one's emotions. Eight of Wands, messages from like and downloads from spirit. This is the birth of forgiveness and lack of judgment. Because you're facing your fear. Some of you, fit, you are so scared of commitment. Some of you are terrified of commitment. And now you're being faced with somebody that you view as commitment material. Or someone is viewing you in that way. Okay. With the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you may have had a girl and you really wanted a boy. Or there is like a proposal. Someone took back a proposal. I feel like this message is going to be going back and forth. You could even be watching someone on social media. What's interesting is there's flame in her eye. Which means it's not just the passion. Because her, her wings are on fire. It's not just about where you're going. And it's also not about where you've been. It's about where you are. The fire inside. Never leaves you. That's like not um, having worry about the future and also not having worry about the past, but having confidence in the now. In the now. A 30 year cycle is over for you as well. This is very interesting.
Yeah, the high priestess. Something's happening in 28 days as well for you. You have one, two, three, technically four. In the next 11 days, someone's taking back a proposal. The number four could be significant here. Aries, Scorpio energy. So March 21st to April 19th could be significant to you. Authority. Some of you are married and then others of you may be becoming a father. The song that's on for you is Summer Walker, Girls Need Love Too. The hidden energy is judgment in reverse. But I like that with Aries Scorpio here. It's like you are no longer Libra, Aries Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries Scorpio, sad about the things that didn't work out. Because it's seen in the broad of day, right? That it wasn't meant for you. Things, certain things were out, certain things are out of your control. And certain things are not meant to be. Also, a lot of you self-sabotaged or you self-sabotage a lot, connections and relationships, because you feel like you don't meet the standards of the other person or you don't feel like you're enough. You don't have um, the feeling of self-love. Is it need to love self? There could be a miscarriage here or infertility even possibly or the canceling with some type of wedding or something like that. But some of you sabotage. I see some of you sabotage out of fear. You sabotage because you don't feel like, I said this in somebody's reading, I think it was Leo's reading where I said, you know, um, this is something that I say to myself, that I'm like the ocean, my standards are like the ocean, and I'm not gonna change them just because some people can't swim, or some people don't have boats, okay, or they don't know how to deal with the water, that I'm not about to change my standards just because someone else can't meet them. And you don't wait around for someone in order to be able to afford it. You get what I'm saying? Or to know someone's worth. You don't wait around for that. But judgment in reverse. Some of you feel like on the other side of that, right, is the lack of self-love. Like, oh, I can't um, swim in those seas because I don't even have love for myself. How the hell am I supposed to go into someone else's ocean? I don't even have any water in my damn cup. Right? So Aries, that's what you're looking at. There's commitment issues. There are, um, this may have led you to some points in your life um, where you felt like slandering um, other people may be like, towards your inner circle, right? Like talking about the person that maybe you're really interested in, right? But the truth was you had deeply rooted, uh, like you had, you may have had, you know, um, commitment issues. Cause you don't really know yourself. You like to make people feel as if they know a lot about you, but they don't. You know a lot about other people, but they don't know anything about you because you're scared of emotion. And anytime you get close to somebody like this queen of pentacles, maybe this person's in your life or someone you're connecting to, they make you look at your emotions. They make you feel emotions. They, they make you uh, see that relationships can actually work, but they don't work until you have a good relationship with yourself. Some of you are watching this person on social media, you're gonna be communicating back and forth with this person you're secretly in love with. Okay. Very interesting. I'm also seeing distance. Somebody could be in another country, another state, another world, or they're from another world. You feel like somebody's from a whole other world. The illusion. Turning your back from the illusion that your dreams can't come true. Maybe you're really in love with somebody, but you convinced yourself that it's not meant to be, it's not going to come true, all because you have commitment issues, that you don't think you're enough, you don't love yourself. The nails, right? I feel like maybe you've been offered unconditional love. Pink is unconditional love, but you've rejected it, right? You've rejected it. Because you didn't think it was fair if you don't even love yourself. Because of fear. 
You may surround yourself with many people to make yourself feel as if you are enough, right? But the truth is you're more than enough. Some of you love to be alone. Some of you absolutely love to be alone. And others of you try to mistake that as, oh, I love to be alone only because you're scared of being a disappointment to other people. You're scared of being connected to other people. You're scared of feeling emotions. You're scared of being in a relationship. You're scared of being committed to somebody. You're scared of that. Maybe you don't feel you have as much finances as another person. Or you think someone is too good to be true. You feel connected to somebody. The song, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 28, you're gonna be getting a promotion or you you found the one. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Sagittarius. You're gonna be receiving a message from the Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, this is the man. You're scared of the man, a person you know, a boyfriend, a fiance, a spouse, a love interest, or some type of masculine energy. There's fear. Some of you could be scared of someone that you're really interested in where they're stimulating conversation because you feel like you don't meet the expectations. The magician means that you, you would have to feel like you meet the expectations of that individual because they have all the tools necessary. They have all the potential necessary to manifest what it is that they want. So you have fear that you're not going to measure up. And even if you search for other people, you still get drawn back to this person. Who just had this? Somebody literally just had the same combo. Libra did, the mother. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. This could be because of um, your connection to your mother. The ocean, 35, breaking down to an eight. Unconditional love of self. How do you mother yourself? Some of you are pregnant or you are a mother. You're like a really good mother. Others of you, like, you feel like you found somebody that is the one but at but the cost of that is feeling like if this person meets my standards i still need to be able to be enough for myself i'm not enough for myself so maybe you set standards like oh this is what i want and love and then somebody actually is able to meet those standards and now you realize that maybe i don't meet the standards that i even set for myself okay you're looking at it completely differently Science. You may work in science. Some of you guys work in the science fields. Something's unfolding for you to work with an open mind in your finances and career. Consider careers in science or a job that unravels the mysteries of the universe and apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. Some of you work in science. Okay? But you see how there's looking at the emotions. And there's a hidden gem. You did find the one. You found somebody you consider like the one for you or whatever. But the truth is you didn't realize that the one you needed to be finding was you. And somebody has come into your life to show you a different sense of consciousness by embodying it. Not trying to shove it down your throat. This has been your reading. I love the Aries, and if you like a person reading information, link down below. The song that is on for you is Lil Nas X, Sun Goes Down. Okay? This feels like some real, like, as above, so below, as it is, so it be as within, so without type thing. But I'm seeing messages coming in, and this sparks your emotions. It's time to fly. I say.